All right, so we're going to configure the logins, the 802.1x AAA logins from the CLI. In uh, version 16, I do not believe you are able to actually configure it from the GUI all the way. You can set up the servers, but uh, I don't think you can apply it to the, uh, the different uh, login types, so like your VTY lines or to your GUI. So... Uh, keep that in mind. In 17, it looks like there are some options there, so you can actually configure everything from the GUI. Uh, we did set up uh, the WLAN uh, radio servers from the GUI, so I wanted to just kind of show how to do it from the CLI. Uh, when you're setting up these servers, it's, it's very similar for the WLAN, uh, for the radius, and for the TACAX. It follows the same kind of idea, right? So first we're going to add the server right just like we did in the GUI paste that in and then we're going to apply uh, we're going to create a new server group and then we're going to apply the the server that we just made right so these uh, uh, match here and then it's gonna, that's going to add that server to the server group. All right so next we're going to create two method lists. We're going to do one for authentication and then one for authorization. So when you're looking at this this is going to be uh, for the authentication um, logins and the name is going to be TAC log auth list 01. It's going to use the server group TAC log group 1 that we just created up here. And then if that doesn't work, it's going to fall back. If it can't reach the server, it's going to fall back to local accounts. That's what this means. Now for uh, authorization, this is going to be the difference between your radius and TACAX, right? So this is, uh, with TACAX, you can actually have it verify every single command that's allowed, right? So uh, depending on different support, but... Um, in this case, you could really restrict what people are allowed to do. With Radius, it's really more of a kind of a subscription-based model, not really a login-based model. So, you know, think of Radius more as uh, being used for like WLANs with billing associated if you wanted to like charge for Wi-Fi or something like that, where TACAX is really kind of network administration focused. Though you can use Radius for logins, you just don't get all these <clears throat> extra functions. All right, so let's go ahead and configure the GUI. Uh, this is going to be a little different. If this was Radius, we would just have this command here uh, on the top. But since it's TACAX, we're going to need this additional command to give it uh, rights to apply everything, that privilege 15, if you will. So let's go ahead and paste those two in. Uh, and they recommend that you bounce the IP uh, HTTP server. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. So we just know it out and then re-add it. And at this point, we can, we can test the GUI. So let's go ahead and test that. And you can see this session timed out. So uh, that's because we uh, rebooted it. So let's use my test account here. Uh, next, we're going to configure our SSH to use it. So these lines, uh, 0 through 15, we're going to apply. And on these 9800s, they will go up to 530. So depending on what you have it applied, 1 to 15 is what, or 0 to 15 is what we're going to use for this example. But if you, for some reason, enable SSH on, you know, all of the lines, you would want to make sure you configure this correctly. Now we're in those lines. Let's go ahead and just like in the GUI, right, you're going to need for TAC access additional command, right, to get you that priv uh, 15. So let's go ahead and paste both, both of these in here. Now, whenever you're testing this, might be a good idea to do like a reload in, right, where you can say, hey, reload in 30 minutes or something. Um, and never close down the, the session that you're logged into because this one is good to go. So you'll want to open a second session to test that that login is actually working, right? Because if you mess this up, uh, it's going to kick you out. So you can see here it failed. That's because I have a saved local account uh, and TACAX has said, nope, that's not good. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and change this to my TACAX account. Okay, this is now working as well. Um, so that that's good, right? Um, fairly simple. You can you can see you just add the the servers, uh, add a group, and tie that new server to. Come up with your uh, methods, right? So your login methods, right? Um, which is going to be use this TACAX server, and if that doesn't work, then use the local, uh, both for authentication and authorization. And then you would just tie it to um, the GUI uh, HTTP server, and then to the line VTY uh, for your SSH. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed.